G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're back in Alpha 20, coming back for day 10 of our Mega City series. We've made it to double digits, admittedly by the skin of whale's teeth. We have not done well so far, but all of my organs still mostly work, so I'm still carrying on and hoping for the best. But I'm coming back today to go out to the suburbs and raid a couple of the houses to hopefully go through the garages and find something decent, but also because houses have a pretty good mix of all different kinds of loot. Rather than the specialized stuff of the industrial district down here, that's a bit more well-rounded. I think that's going to work out well for me. But before I head out for today, I have to put my hand up and admit that once again, to nobody's surprise, I am a Muppet. Because often I get kind of like set in my ways of things that I re uh, regularly do or things I never really have to think about because I find it normally. I just kind of carry on and never give it two thoughts. I am an idiot because I have a really good level of deep cuts at the moment. I can make tier four stuff. But I've been cruising around with a freaking bow knife while I'm holding on to all of the stuff I would need to make myself a hunting knife. I don't. I thought I needed the workbench for it because I never make myself hunting knives. I thought I needed the workbench, but just on a whim, I was like, oh, I should check that. And sure enough, I don't need one. Don't ask me why, but apparently it's a thing. So before I head out for today, I'm going to make myself a new weapon that I should have done a while ago. While I'm waiting for that knife to craft, I'm going to try and appease the gods even more by toasting to their good fortune. I'm using a crossbow today, which is a recipe for imminent disaster. I'm just trying to placate them as much as possible. So on my sweet rooftop bar, real quick, uh, that's the button. Take off your pants and jacket and drink a coffee to the sunrise. Oh, please. I'm so, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, right. Before we check the stats on the knife, can we all please collectively cross our fingers and our toes that this knife won't be worse than my bone knife? I was so disappointed last time. Hopefully this time goes a little bit better. Here we go. What are you doing? So I'm trying to beat... What am I trying to beat? Actually, I'm trying to beat 6.6 .6 and 23.4. Here we go. Show me. 7.1 and 20... Oh, it's... Either that's the best fucking bone knife in the world. I, I don't even know what. I, okay, whatever. I spent the resources on it. It's marginally better, but not by much. Still disappointed, but whatever. Apparently that bone knife is gilded in golden blood somewhere. Look at that though. In the morning sun, that's nice and purple. That looks sick. At least got a good color scheme about you. Look, it may not be the best thing in the world. It may not be as good as a Shetty, but just the fact that it has the black handle on the purple blade just like, just soothes my soul just that little bit. So I'll give it a pass and just accept it for what it is. We're going out this way. There we go, into the bright morning sunshine. Oh, there was a wolfy boy just there, but that's okay. You're gonna be the first clown to drench my new blade. I mean, it's still going to take the same amount of shots as it did before, but hopefully the durability is considerably better. And given I now need repair kits to repair it rather than just bones, it bloody better be stronger. This vendor is broken. I'm actually going to take the time to break you down because you will give me steel. And I'm starting to get to the point now where I have to start thinking ahead about what I'm going to do about resources. Given my lack of any sort of luck finding my workbench or any of the things I actually need, I can't really count on finding a crucible anytime soon. So instead, I'm going to grab all of this. There we go. Get a couple of... Jesus. All right there, buddy boy. <gasps> it's a Yeti. He knows. He knows about the crossbow. He's coming for me. Well, how, maybe I can exercise my demons right now by exercising you. Come on, my for it. There we go. All right, are we good? Are we good? I killed a Yeti with a crossbow. That's going to do something for me, surely. There is some serious historic Woodle lore getting referenced here and rewritten here. This is, this is a big deal going back to the crossbow. Some of you who are new here, also, hi, welcome. Thank you for coming and watching my video. And maybe subscribe while you're here because that's what I'm supposed to say. But those of you who are new here might understand how big of a deal it is for me to be going back to the death trap that is the iron crossbow. The copy crossbow is great. The iron crossbow is a death sentence. So just like rolling with that again, I'm all sorts of trepidatious. G'day, g'day. Anyone in here? 
Just a cheeky, yeah, there you are. Just a cheeky box and one Muppet Garden in. That's fine. Nothing else good though. The back door's unlocked. So this might actually be a remnant as opposed, oh, you, you sausage. Are you better than this one? You bloody better not be. I need to just double check this real quick. I just need to make sure of this. So what are you doing? You're doing 7.1 and 26.2. Okay, so you are definitely worse. But now, see, you know, you make yourself a knife. Now the game's like, hey, now that you don't need it, let me shower you with the stuff you would have killed all sorts of adorable creatures for just yesterday. That's just how seven days works. That's just how it always bloody works. But I think this place is going to be a remnant because all the doors are unlocked. So I'll try and um, not rush through as much as possible. Take my time and do it properly. Because in my head, as soon as it's a remnant, I'm like, oh, it's sweet. There's no zombies here. And that's when I get dicked by a sneaky zombie. Somewhere. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Sorry, I just interrupted your uh, morning ablutions. I'll check to see if you're healthy. You didn't drop anything yet. You just shoved your newspaper down there. That's probably going to clog it up. That's fine. Oh, cheeky coffee as well. Thank you very much. I really ruled that guy's morning. Check upstairs. See what we've got to deal with. There is probably a monster in there. No. There we go. Hmm, maybe not. No one hiding behind me though, so I can take a moment to just kind of skirt around. Where is everyone? Nope, no one. Okay, that's fine. That's well okay. Apparently it was a single homeowner downstairs who's now making maggots on the kitchen floor. Grab you for the springs and all sorts of good gubbins. Nice. Any other cheeky loots? No? Alright, that's fine. It was only a, a remnant, so big loot isn't really the goal. That's fine though. Job done. So this is the next house, which I'm pretty sure... I've lived in one of these houses for like a week at some point. Ooh, it's changed now though. That lattice used to be on this side. Because I'm pretty sure it did. It looks different to how I remember it. We'll see how we go. Just because the outside is different doesn't mean the inside is going to get any different though. Check around. There's a clown right there. Just go <laughs> cheeky deeky. I'm using the crossbow. Might as well take advantage of it. Get my bolt back. Thank you. A waste of bolts on the Yeti. It was worth it though. It was definitely worth it. Hopefully it's done the job. Anyone sleeping up here? No one in that corner, I don't think. Oh, I see. Ya. Nice, 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 nice. I do. I like the mechanics of the crossbow. It's just my inner fears I'm having to get by that's the main issue here. But if it proves itself worthy, it might be a new goer. This Mega City series is just a series of trying new things, apparently. We've got pistols and knives and crossbows. Not really my normal set of weaponry at all, is it? About as far removed as you can possibly get. Dang, come on, where's all the good stuff? Gonna be some larrikins in that cupboard, I reckon. Yep, there you are. And sit you down. I think... Did I just hear the creaky crawlies? Oh, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I feel like I heard the creaks of more zombies somewhere. Sounds like they're just upstairs, though. Check the nightstand for some purple goodness. Although I've got kind of purple and black everything already. I'll just scrap you. I'll just scrap you for the, uh, the cloth fiber instead. Yeah, I already searched that one. Okay. Okay, I'm, start, I'm starting to panic because I just don't really have a plan in mind. Where am I headed? Where am I headed? Anyone up here? Hello? Anyone? White is just as scary as loud. Any cheeky reading for me? No, already read that one before. I'm finding a lot of that mod, actually, that mod schematic. The off-road headlights mod schematic. It's just apparently everywhere. Hit you. I'm still aiming up a little bit and I probably don't need to. Lost the bolt on you. Can get the bolt back on that one. That's just trash, not a zombie foot. Check the corners. No, we're sweet. Okay. Okay. We're doing okay. We're not panicking. We're making good time though. There's a workbench in there, which is getting me a little bit fizzy. The potential for disappointment or pure euphoria is beckoning in front of me. But before I go and do that, because I do remember this POI, I'm going to quickly just open up an escape route for the main zombie fight at the end. Because if I'm going to get in a bit of a bash with a feral, I'm going to need a way to skedaddle right quick. Anyone hiding out in here? No, that's the way down and through to the loot area. Quickly search you. Schematic! Damn it! Come on, please! I'm begging you! I'm creeping through with a machine gun out, because if shit kicks off while I'm in this tunnel, I'm gonna want all that extra firepower. Anyone here? They're all hiding- Oh, I see. Uh, they're all hiding behind that wall just there. 
No, nah, we're fine. No one woke up. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Stay away from the garbage. That's gonna wake. Oh, uh, wake everybody up. You fucking what's. God, I hate the hitboxes in this game all the time. There we go. Still nice and sneaky dinky. Take the arrow back out. Covered in goo, but now double laid in goo like a double dip Tim Tam. It's now double dipped goo bolt. In here. Sneak through. More Muppets waiting for me. Nice and stealthy. There's one there. Aim for the head. Perfect. Any others? Or we sweet. Fuck yeah. See what happens when you don't have invisible wake up lines? So much easier. Is this a fabric roll, by the way? It is. Fabric rolls are really good for giving you quick experience. Look at that, 86 per block. I mean, in fairness, compared to killing a zombie, not that much, but still non-negligible. So I'll pop open all of these, got a pop and pills box, a weapons bag, and a savage country as well. Come on, come on, now's the time to reward me. I've been adventurous and bold. Fortune favors the brave, and for once I'm being brave. We'll start with the leather trunk. What's in you? T6 pipe rifle. Not super necessary. I actually just scrap you for the iron. Marvel connectors mod and a book to flappy fucks. That's fine. Take all of that. I've left these with one health each. So I'm going to just pop them open and save my stamina. Aloe cream as always. Love equipment box. Steroids and painkillers. Had a couple already. It's so not too bad. Don't need a bag of goo. Take the four bites. Weapons bag. Pipe baton, ooh, and a grave digger mod. Okay, fair enough. I don't have any mods in my shovel at the moment, so in you go, quick smart. In fact, you can also have that one. There we go, modify you, chuck you in, get you doing even extra stuff. I don't think I have any room for these things though. We'll see what I got, but I might just have to like scrape, uh, scrape them, scrap them or ditch them or whatever. I don't have a whole lot of room about the place. I think I'm pretty good to go. I'm not too chocker block, but I'm still carrying quite a lot of garbs straight out one of these ways out somewhere where's the exit man i'm <laughs> i've fallen so in love with the new pois with the button like the roller door at the end of the poi just to get out from where you came that's such a cool feature that now i don't have it i miss it that's the next house just then i should have the inventory space to do most of this stuff without nary a worry check you for eggs thank you this is good the egg spawn rate so much better than it used to be as well so bacon and eggs is always on the menu boys this might be another remnant because it is pretty open with not a lot around. Oh, God. <laughs> Woo! If you ever need to wake up in the morning and you've run out of coffee beans, just walk around a house and potentially fall to your death. That'll get you going in a jiffy. There we go. There's some coffee beans. It's much easier way. Scrap you. Mm, I'll take you, actually. I'll see if I have the space to take you home. I've been ditching lead products quite a lot because, like, lead is just one of those annoying resources that you get it when you need it. There's no point stockpiling five here and five there. No, don't need you. Check that one. Don't need you either. I don't need to repair my knife with you anymore. God. Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on a second. I couldn't give my bone chlamydia, but can I give my knife chlamydia? Yes, uh, no, no, I can't. Damn it, come on. <sighs> Apparently I've had it so much I'm now immune. Someone call a doctor. I've got a breakthrough for him. Check upstairs. I'm sure there is someone asleep in here somewhere. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I'm just not exactly sure where just yet. There she is. Stab. Stab, you're probably gonna bleed out before you do any damage to me. There you go. The problem here is I've gotta run around with my axe out so I can see what the dick I'm doing, which is not making my life any easier at all. Scrap that, check the bathroom, check the loo. No, nothing there, and... Oh! Oh, 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 wait, hang on. Hang on, I'll be right there. I need to get some visibility. Excuse me, coming out. Where'd you drop it? Where'd you drop it? Where the hell is the Derpo? Damn it! I haven't finished raiding the POI yet, but I've got to get eyes on that Derpo before I lose it forever. There it is. Oh, I almost never saw it. That one got very low very quickly. All right, you. I'm going to go like this. going to go save waypoint. going to go to scene. And then it's probably like... Uh, there. Somewhere. Somewhere there. Two? Question mark. That might be out near the border of the world. 
Mm, that could be interesting. I don't know. I'll finish right at this blue building, though. That's got a garage in there, too, that I want to go through. I'm not sure if I can go and get that dirt pro just yet, but at least I know kind of where it is for later. Sounds like someone's made their way up oh, inside to come and fight me. Yep, get a bud. Oh, I stabbed him and he got a speed boost. I hate it when that happens. He closes in so fast. Oh, God, I hate the bikers. They hit so hard. I'm never comfortable fighting them. Cheeky bookshelves. What you got? Nothing and nothing as to be expected. Scrap you. Oh, a desk. Desk might have good things. Take all of that. Come on. Goggles. Damn it. So there's this joint here just next to it has the garage, but that one there does have a garage as well. I thought it didn't initially because it looks like it, like the map just kind of read it wrong. Uh, but we'll do that one first. I'm pretty full on gubbins. I'm going to make myself a chest just outside and dump it all in. Like I'm not too far away from home. God, the city looks cool though. Okay, stop ogling the world and get out of here and get cracking, Josh. Hup, jump to them. Nice parkour skills. Down to there. Look at that. Didn't even hurt me toesies. Chucked all me gubs away. I'm not particularly hungry nor thirsty. I do have some supplies in there in case I get a little bit peckish. Up we go. Someone's... Yep, there you are. Arlene, trapped in a cage. Not the way you used to, is it? Come close up. There you go. There you go. Right. Where's the way in going to be? I assume through the back somewhere. So we'll see if we can have a bit of a gander out here. Just please no doggos. Do I waste a bolt opening that? Or do I try and get stealthy boys? Let's try stealthy boys. Hop, jump over there. Land relatively close so I can miss. Pop that open. Yeah, doggo, I knew there would be. Oh, crossbow. Oh, crossbow, I'm starting to like ya. That means that this should be the POI. There it is, that it has that weird little hole in the wall. Make sure you're loaded and ready to go. I'm running out of bolts though. Oh, don't get up. Fine. Fine. We're gonna be like that. Sorry to disappoint you. I can't give you a bone anymore. I've upgraded. I now have a, um, uh, a metallic one, which, I mean, some people might think is much, much better. Right, the bookshelf. No, nope, nothing. Come on, we're going fast. We're going speedy raid. Get in, get stabbing, get murdering. I'm starting to, like, get excited when I find desks just because they might have the chance to give me the ski goggles I'm after. There's nothing else seems to be. Ooh. I don't... I left my lockpicking candy at home. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like this. What looks like a safe. Then look like, in here look like a safe. Not really. going to go like this then. We're going to go safe. Just like that. So I'm going to leave that there. Oh, I've got two lockpicks. We'll give it a whirl. We'll give it a crack and see how it goes. We're getting on the first crack, then that's Bonza. If not, I'll come back for another time. Because if I can... There we go. If I can pop my lockpicking candy and hit the one there and the one in my apartment building and whatever others that might be... Oh, fuck! Whatever others might be around that I can track down as well. That's going to be really good efficiency. Is a fucking spider hanging out in here now? God, the game has ratcheted up a notch, which is not good for me. Oh, God, I love the look at that knife. Though. That just looks sick. Oh, I remember. Last time the zombies broke through that door and scared me half to death. This is the way I'm supposed to go. Sneak around. Anyone waiting for me in there? There definitely is, but I can't see him, so... Wake up, Jeff. Or not. Everybody's wiggling. Anyone in the bathroom, too? Hello? No, we're all sweet. We're all good. Double sinks for hopefully double recipes. No, just double cooking pots instead. That's fine. We're starting to get to like, I think, what's my loot stage at actually? 27. I feel like we've crossed over um, some sort of threshold to get like slightly better loot than we were before. Because everything seems to have kind of raised up a bit. I remember this room. Can I reach that? Yes, I can with me, uh, my wonderful shovel. Put one through you. I can get that bolt back as well. That's not a leg. That's a bit of pipe. That's a head. Sit you down and... Ah, you don't need to be taken care of with a bow. That's fine. Nice. Got you sorted. Nice. 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 Okay. There isn't a workbench in here, which is a damn crying shame, but that's all right. Still got some gubs to go through. Still crossing all my fingers and toes. This goes pretty okay. Just another baton in the leather chest. I'll actually just eat that fish right now. I'm sorry if that was if that was the snack you had your eye on. Call me a shit roommate because I gouged it right quick. Don't need you, but I'll take that stuff. Savage country. Scrap you. Scrap you. Ammo pile. Come on. 
I'll take the bullet tips. Apparently, I'm doing that now. Scrap you, actually, while I'm... No, no room in queue. Fair enough, then. Temper Blade. What might be a bit of fun. Take you out of there. Chuck that in instead. What do you actually do? Increases blood damage by 10% lowers their reaction by 15. So that would actually be better on, like, one of my tools then, I suppose. Uh, I can't double stack those, can I? No, I can't. Hmm. Okay, I'll put you back into them. I can't put a weighted head mod on my knife either. Just, um, just not having much luck with the mods, am I? So call me Gubbins back. It actually didn't take up that much more room than I was thinking it would. Right. It's now 20 past four. I've done three houses already. Although admittedly, no, I've, I've done four, haven't I? But one of them was, two of them were remnants. Come on, get it together. So this is the next one. Someone's having a nap over them. Oh, I'm trying to remember what this house is. I feel like it's a pretty big one. You reload that one, running out of bolts, but every kill is worthwhile. Aim up a little bit. Perfect. Oh, lockers might have something good for me. <laughs> nope, go and get burned, apparently. Someone should be hanging out in here. Yes, they are. Sneak attack. How? Oh, it was a glancing blow, because I clipped the bloody wall of the frame instead. Bonds might level up. Two points to spend. So I could buy the next level of agility, which would mean I can the next pot I get can go into ooh, 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 can go into flurry of blows. Damn it! Take all of that though. I don't want to spend it yet though. I have to live in hope that this POI might come through for me and give me the um give me the agility specs. So before I do anything rash, I'll raid this house and see what we come up with. Check the washing machine, nothing there. Finding lots of clothes, been scrapping all of it too, so not really much left to speak of. The knife feels good though. This new knife definitely doing good tricks for me. Scrap you, nothing there. We're going fast because time is ticking away. It's already 20 past five. It's once, twice, no. Oh, I, <laughs> he was giving me a cuddle. I'll take you home and play basketball with you if that's the kind of thing you want to do. That was frightfully close to going pear-shaped right quick. Take you. Check the uh, trash compactor. Nothing much there either. It's a lot of just like random garbage loot as opposed to anything really exceptionally cool. We're making good time. Check behind the painting. No one there. Making good time through the POI so I don't want to slow down shit just yet. Oh... Fuck you. No one has a shower like that with just a deliberate body hiding cavity. Who the fuck is sleeping in here? Freaking Scarface? Not sleeping, showering. I don't sleep in a shower. He's had a really big bloody night. Ah, oh, that's just, that's just dick baggery at its finest. Although in fairness, it's my fault for not checking there first. Check the secret stash in the wall. Really? Old trash is all you're giving me out of that? I thought it was going to be something cool because it was like this little railing out here to skirt yourself along. For a bit of old trash. Oh, uh, well, trash loot. It comes in trash form, apparently, so I shouldn't be surprised. Grab you. Bit of extra dosh that I don't need. I really wish... Like, I know there's mods that can do it. I really wish there was a way, like, in vanilla, that vending machines would take uh, paper money. I've talked about this before, but give it a reason to exist, you know? You have to go to the trader to trade in your jukes. To, oh, there we go. To try and get yourself the paper money to use uh, on the vending machines. Real, really cool extra dynamic, I think, to it. We've made it to the loot room. We've got a servo box. Oh, the Yeti! I was going to whip out the old, uh, the old crossbow to try and take care of you, but that's... Oh, God, he's in the bathroom with me! Oh, God, I backed out the window. Sorry. Ow. I just need you to die. Fuck, they hit like a brick shit house. I fucking hate Yeti so much. Who else is in here? I'm really annoyed now. Stab, stab, stab the lot of you. You're all going to die because you took in cards with the big bearded Jeffrey. Sounds like my time is running out mildly. It's also quarter to seven, so both figuratively and literally I'm running out of time. Open up both of you. What you got for me? Steel arrowheads. I can make steel... Ooh, wait, do arrowheads make both bolts and arrows? I'll we'll have to check that in a second. Scrap you, don't need you. Got a cheeky bando. Don't have one of those yet, so thank you very much. 50% less damage from collapsing blocks. I need that because I am a clown. Right, you, that one. My thigh's got mods in it. Yes, it does. So do you. So instead, you're going to put that one in then. There we go. Faster reload. Always a good time, just like... Ooh. 
I was hoping for bike stuff or a workbench schematic. We found a different kind of schematic. I'll take that. That's good. Check up on the roof. I think there was more around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. There's an ammo pile just then. And a medical pile. What you got? Nothing really. Don't want the nitrate. Can I check you? Empty. And... Bullets. Okay. Yep. Nope. That works for me. No whackers, knackers. I'll go with the rest of my guns and start heading back into town to go to sleep for the night. What a productive day, though. Ooh. Ooh. I... I like my chances. There's a garage underneath that building that might have what I'm after. Oh, this is risky as shit. Hup! Hup! I fucking hate the water physics in this game. I fucking hate the water physics in this game. If I... Oh, God. If I make sweet jumps off the roof into the pool, you reward me with frothies and a snag off the barbie. No one has shattered kneecap. Fuck! I even landed in the deep end of the pool too. I didn't go diving into the shallows like a galah. I dove into the deep stuff and still got wrecked for it. I am upset. I am upset and I feel betrayed and miserable. You know, that might have actually ruined my chances of getting over to that other building and checking out the garage because now I can't move any faster than a slug without its tail. Um, I thought I had a split. Oh, I got you. I was going to say, I thought I had a splint in here. I do. I've got a car, so... Take all of that. I'm chocker block, as to be expected, though. I'll wait for my health to get a little bit better before I use the bando. So does that mean I can't sprint anymore? What? Ooh, fuck it. I'll use you. I'll use you because I want to go and try out that building over there. I can now sprint without hurting my ankles. Plus, I'm no longer cucumbered. Good time to use it. Come on. Two hours to go till nightfall. Show me your garage. Let me under you. Oh, is this not the one that has the garage? I thought it was. Um, I'll quickly check the basement. There'll be a workbench down here for me anyway. Take what I can out of you. I don't have any space for any extra gubs, so it's going to have to be an express raid. Only taking the bare necessities. Oh, get utterly spanked, Jigglypuff. Yeah, there's a workbench. Nice. Promising. Yeah. Kill you. Oh, and a passing gas box as well. This could be very promising. Let's go away. Just check the last of this, Arlene. I know you've got some friends. But that's where I'll deal with them in a jiffy. Come on. Come on through. Boss arm. Arlene's dead. Nice. That's what I want. Check the car parts, <laughs> car parts box even first. Nothing good in there. Drop loot from stripper titties. Ooh, a frothy, some tea, and some shotgun ammo. I actually drink you right now just because it's going to give me some digestive efficiency. And given all the buffs I've got going on at the moment, sort of bad shouts. I need to throw away my spare splints. Ooh, extra lockpick. Don't mind if I do. I'll save the, um... Ooh, not too bad. I'll save the workbench till very last. I've done everything else here. Ammo. Don't need those anyway. That's fine. Check that for nothing much. Okay. Okay, here we go. Come on, schematic. Fuck. That'll do. I don't have time to read the rest of the building. I just wanted to check the basement. What freaking direction am I heading in? That one over there. Fair enough. So another day full of disappointments. I had really good luck in like the first three or four days of this series. And since then, I have been getting bananaed. And every turn, there's so much banana on me right now. You could basically just call me a banana cake. Ooh, I do like, like banana bread. Ooh, get that in me. Fucking love banana bread. It's like peak, peak snackage is banana bread. But either way, heading back to the apartments. <sighs> That's a fight. That's okay though. You know, someone's going to roll with the punches and just keep on going. Never know when your luck might turn around. Home sweet home. I really like this city. Both at dawn and dusk, the like the warmer amber light is just so nice. The difference in lighting uh, in this game over the last couple of hours has been ridiculously good. And I'm enjoying every little update it has. Still need to fix up all this shit though. It's not secure. It's not good. It doesn't even work as a freaking horde base. So I need, to, I need to sort out something for the horde actually. So what, I've got 11, 12, 13, 14, well, four days... Not much time at all to figure out a completely different way to handle the horde that shows up. You guys all go into there. You guys all go into there. I'm going to need lots of fluids to deal with the fact that I just stuck a bunch of questionable materials into my ass cheek. Mm, that does give me better of both things. I might even hold on to you in case I'm ever going to the deserts. 
Don't have any bolts, but I might be able to make myself some. I do have the forge downstairs to get that cracking on as well. Maybe it's time I started leaning on that a bit more. Although, I guess I could just make myself some steel bolts first. Why not? Ah, no, it's not feathers and wood like I thought it was for the other stuff. It's uh, polymers and also needs a workbench that apparently just doesn't bloody exist in the world anymore. So instead, I'll chuck you... Not, not into there, actually. I'll chuck you into there. And I'll grab... Run, quickly run downstairs to my other floor. Grab my forge. Give you a bit of fuel. You're going to need some clay to do this, I think. But... No, arrowhead. Arrowhead, I need you... I can make a whole lot of them. I just need to get some clay. Hang on a second. I'll get you crafting away now. But wasn't it also... Like, part of my finishing the archery series where I can bolt craft arrows and bolts and stuff, wasn't it? So I need 80 out of you to make 100 bolts. That's actually not too shabby. So I just need another 50 out of you. That's going to be... What's that? 60. So I need... No, no. Just 20. Just 20. Just 20 will be fine. That's right, yeah? Yeah, that's going to give me 80 of those. I've got everything else I need. That's going to be sweet. I quickly just ran downstairs to grab one of the spare torches at the horde base because I don't need two of them down there. That's for damn sure. You're almost done with that. What was it? 80 and 80. So 80 across the board gives me bolt crafting. That's pretty handy, actually. I um I underestimated how handy that would actually be, but that's going to come up a treat, I think. Another couple of seconds then. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that, actually. I'm real happy with that. What else do I need to do, though? What's the plan for tomorrow? I don't even know. Everything's kind of all over the shop now because I'm just not having much luck with whatever I'm trying to do. It's just, um, it's just a bit how you're going. Hey, I think the best option... Oh, but, like, I need to make the horde base, though. I need to come up with a way to make a horde base that's not just going to let them beat through a wall and come and fuck me up. So I need a better horde base at some point in the next four days. But I know that if I follow the city in either direction, I can't go... Oh, my fucking legs are hurting again. I forgot. I can't go that way because the mountain's there. I know that the city can't spawn on the mountain. So there's a mountain kind of like separating this city from more city on the other side. So I don't know if I head in either direction, I'll find more town. But I... If I head that way, I'm trying to remember how these worlds spawn. I think to the south is where the, the desert will be? Or is that going to be the snow biome? I don't know. I, I do not know what's down. If I follow the city, I'll find a different biome. And any biome is going to have a better loot rating than the pine forest does. So maybe, potentially, I go on an adventure. Maybe I go down and try and find a different city uh, in a different biome that's going to have better stuff. Maybe that's my key to finding the workbench and transportation. Because at the moment, I ain't having any luck at all. It's going to be a long wander, but it'll hopefully be worthwhile. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the right call it is. I have to make the whole base as well. I don't know what I'm going to do, game. Either way, though, my bolts are crafting up and I'm ripe and ready to go. I'll quickly grab you. Listen, listen, crossbow. You served me well, so you've earned a rep Not that. You've earned a repair. That one. There you go. going to take a little bit to get done. You know what? It's doing well. As long as it's working for me, I'll back the crossbow in. Although I feel like it's kind of, a, it's clearly a sign. Start using the crossbow, yetis start spawning everywhere, which is no fun. But I'll have to come back and decide if I'm either making a new horde base or going and exploring a different biome in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below, or subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.